Hello there guys, Dropkick Jaxi. So today we are going to have a little look through War of the Vikings. So this is really my first thoughts on the game. Um, obviously it is an early access um, alpha game at the moment. So um, there's a lot that's still left out, which I will sort of show you now. So I like what they've incorporated into it, so it shows you their sort of ideas roughly when stuff's going to be in the game so uh, it's going to be constantly updated as you see four different stages we're here <clears throat> so at the moment they're working on uh, weapon looting uh, character customization blood effects hopefully might be in uh, spears and javelins etc um, this game obviously I can't really judge it too much because it is still alpha but um, what I'll do I'll join a game and let you see see for yourselves so I'm gonna try and find a half decent game here so there's quite quite a lot of servers open at the moment I'm guessing they're expecting a lot of uh, activity on here so hopefully fingers crossed for them Server is full. So at the same time, when I find a relatively foolish server, um, but at the same time, best connection as possible, as you would expect. Try that one. <coughs> Here we go. Stuff it. Let's do it like that then. I'm actually just going to have to try and join this one. There we go. So there's only two maps at the moment, which are the docks and forest. Um, they're relatively simple maps, to be fair. They're, they're, they're good. So as you see, you've got the Vikings and the Saxons, and it looks like I've joined an empty game. Which is never a good thing. So if I join the uh, Saxons for a moment, at the moment you've got three classes, which you can't edit. So you've got your Fane, which is just your standard sword and shield, really. Um, you get your thrown axes which do a fair old bit of damage in all fairness to you and your round shield um, you get a few perks but they're nothing special what I'm gonna do first of all is jump in as the husker so he is a two-handed axe wielding maniac I am far from good at this game, as you will see. You do have finishers, and you can pick people up, which this mate has just done to me. So the finishers, uh, no, I'm done. So the finishers do take a bit of uh, stamina away from you, which I will. After this attack, show you. Nope. And then he done it to me. So yeah, that's that's not too great. So as I was showing you anyway. So uh, Husker, you get the bearded long axe. You get some throwing daggers, which are pretty much pants in my opinion. The only good thing therefore is chasing down your targets. And then you get your uh, herbman, which is your archer class, which are overpowered. So uh, jumping back to the Fane, as I was uh, first of all explaining. So you got your standard up with your shield and you get a finisher with each class. Some are better than others obviously. Uh, you would have thought the long axe would have more range but I'm afraid not. There we go. So, as you can see, I think he's dead. So, 
so it's pretty much the same as uh, War of Roses to be honest apart from uh, you have no tin men running around taking hundreds of arrows and crossbow bolts and just jabbing away at people the whole time Always look behind it. And I didn't want to do that. I jumped straight into the water. As you can see, you can't swim. Very noobish thing of me to do. So friendly damage is on. So you get your XP for various things, picking people up. Um, just relative damage, if you cause any form of damage. And you can finish your enemies off so they can't be picked up, which you also get X people. I'm going to go down in a second. And there is one or two uh, motions for decapitation, which I do like. You can. Uh, chop heads off etc. So I'll put more uh, try on this and then I'll use a huskel for a few. Obviously, uh, pinions on it, they need to nerf the archer. The archer is just stupid. That was a finisher then. It's quite easy to take on a couple people at once because they always end up just team hitting and just stuff. Uh, I always get hit off and then die. It's typical. Uh, he's going to be too busy fighting. So. Yeah, first thoughts aren't that great in all fairness. Um, it could be better. Hopefully it will get better. Obviously it is early. And uh, the spawns are awful. They just spawn you around the enemy. I've on multiple occasions started right next to the enemy and just hacked away at their archers. So now it's time to try an archer. So you've got your right click, typical bar of uh, the longer you hold it, the more powerful the shot. Hitting the right place, you can easily one shot people. Like that, straight in the face. Headshot.
<laughs> the axe uh, with the archer does do a hell of a lot of damage if you manage to hit with it. Uh, multiple occasions I've been outdone by an archer in melee um, using many, well, each of the classes. For any of those that played uh, War of Roses, you're not going to be disappointed if you enjoyed it, um, unless you enjoyed playing as, that's fucking annoying, unless you enjoyed playing as uh, a tin man, and then you're going to be very annoyed, look, you're going to just take a thousand bloody arrows and stuff. But got a bit silly with uh, the amount of stuff you could take in that game, to be honest with you. few of us have picked up on the uh, hitbox seems to be quite off as well um, I know that sounds like a really bad excuse for a bad player but uh, it seems to seems to work sometimes and then other times it's totally off I don't know if that's just down to lag or, or what but, So you can bandage up, which gives you full health again, but you're obviously vulnerable for five seconds or so. <coughs> See what I mean? That should have hit him, and yet yeah, he'd done his special through me and then killed me. So, I think really, it's one of these that they've got to improve it's there the engine was there with uh, War of the Roses uh, that was normally quite accurate with what you fucking thrusted at but this here doesn't seem to be So no, I won't. So yeah, I don't mind giving this a chance. If any of you guys want to see a bit more of this, I will uh, focus a bit more time into it, try and get a bit better at it. Um, Join the Viking and the Saxon ways. The way it's going at the minute, as you can see, I am at pants. One thing I will criticise on though is the terrain. If you fall from a certain height, you lose your attack. So people oh shit. Did I kill my own first? I don't know.
So uh, if you fall uh, from a certain height while you're holding an attack, it, you sort of, I don't know, stumble slightly, which then, if someone's at the bottom of that, they're just going to attack you back. Can't hang it, bugger. One thing I do like, if your shield's in the direction an arrow is, if you're not blocking, it will still block it. That's always a good, good thing. Even though I have my shield up then, he still managed to shoot. Right. So yeah, still an early game. A lot of fixes need to be made to make it a good game. Um, a good company, they've got the money to do so, so I really hope they uh, shine out of this a little bit more. This is normally the class that gets owned by the archer melee. They just seem to walk right through yet. Luckily that time they didn't. They have got like a squad based uh, type thing that like you can join up with your friends. They show up as orange on the map and stuff. I didn't really see him coming up behind me there. So yeah, we got totally on then guys. Um, if you're interested in watching it, let me know and I will, like I say, put a bit of work in, get a bit better. Um, so yeah, from Dropkick Jaxi, uh, take care.